So you're thinking about moving to Capel, Texas? Well, you should be because it is the number one rated suburb in all of Dallas-Fort Worth. It's also rated number four suburb in all of Texas. So a lot of good things with Capel, and I'm gonna walk you through what you need to know exactly as far as uh, the proximity of some certain things in town, some of the neighborhoods we visit, and let's get after it right now. <laughs> This is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Dallas, Texas and the surrounding areas, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. And my name is Levi and my partner Jimmy and I, you know, we get calls and emails every day from people just like you making a move to Dallas. We absolutely love it and we'd love to help you out as real estate agents here. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas or the surrounding areas. So as we mentioned in this video, we're gonna jump uh, into my computer actually and show you a little bit around town so you can get a better idea of the proximity to downtown and, and what's going on. But after this video, and I say after this video, uh, you wanna check out our full vlog tour uh, on the area. That way you can get a better understanding of where we take you through the town and you can kind of see everything, uh, different price points of homes and things like that. But with that, let's just jump in my computer so I can show you around. All right, so here we are looking at Dallas. You can see Capel up here in the upper left-hand corner. This area, you can see downtown Dallas right down there. And if you come on 635, go down 35E, you, that takes you right into downtown Dallas. Now this is only about 21 miles. So you're very close to downtown and on a, a clear day with no traffic, I mean, that should take you 20 to 25 minutes. It's a, it's a pretty easy shot. Now here's the other great thing about Capel is look at the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. It's right there. The, it's really three miles. So if you're a business traveler or you're a uh, pleasure seeker as far as uh, like to travel as much as possible, then you're gonna have an easy shot to the airport and you're, actually your family will, will be more than happy to, to take you to the airport, right? It's always uh, some contention there about, oh, gotta drive me to the airport. Uh, well, hey, when the airport's three minutes away, then uh, you won't have any problem getting picked up or dropped off, right? So that kind of shows you the proximity to Dallas. So we'll clear that out and take a look over here. The other great thing about Capel is you're right here uh, next to Grapevine Lake as well. And I love Grapevine Lake. It has so many mountain biking trails, hiking trails, and you know picnic areas, just all types of fun things you can do with your family there at any time. It's a great lake, it's beautiful. It's, it's actually you know really nice water there. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, actually, you'll see right here too, this is the Gaylord uh, Texan Resort. And I don't know if you've heard of the Gaylord in Texas, but this is, I mean, before COVID, this was one of the most popular spots to host a convention in, you know, all of the Dallas area. So, you know, if they start to come back and if you have any uh, conventions there, then, then you'll be close to that as well. Also, you've got the Grapevine Mills Mall right there. And this was, the Grapevine Mills Mall was kind of like the uh, OG or the original, uh, the original mega mall in Dallas. And it's massive. They've got this Rainforest Cafe in there that, I mean, of course, it's really cool. All the kids love it, the giant frogs and, and monkeys and things like that. But uh, it is a massive mall. Of course, lots changed with COVID as well, but it's still, it's still open. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, it's a cool place to visit. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of the mall, but for those people that are, the Grapevine Mills Mall is right next door uh, in Capel for you there. Uh, so right here, if um, after this video, you gotta watch all of this video first, but after this video, you should go check out our full vlog tour on Capel. And in that, we start out down here in Old Town. It's right down here in the uh, southwest corner of Capel, all right? And so I'll, I'll zoom in here a little bit just to show you, uh, if you go check out that vlog, actually film it right here, or start out in the Capel Old Town Pavilion. And so this is a, a pretty good size, uh, actually the grassy area is right there. 
this is like a, a huge playground. Um, and, you know, where the kids can play, you've got picnic tables, you've got everything uh, that you need uh, for a great family outing right there. You've got this huge area that's open where you could run, you know, kick a soccer ball, play football, uh, it, you know, just kind of do some fun things with your kids there as well. And, and, uh, and then you see right here, you see all these, these rectangles. This is what I also show you in the vlog is these are all kind of new, some newer construction homes, but they were, they were built to kind of look old, uh, older, you know, kind of like some old traditional, some old, um, Creole style. I mentioned in there, they're kind of New Orleans-esque, uh, a couple of them, but they're kind of also some traditional and some craftsman style homes, but they look really cool. They look like they are older homes. But, but new construction. So those, to have that, if you kind of like history and character like me, you want something a little bit uh, kind of like the old stuff, that, those are some great properties right in there. And on top of that, you've got Twisted Root Burger Company, which is one of my favorite burger places, at least here in Dallas. I know they've got a couple throughout Texas. I've actually seen them. So I, I think they're really, really great burgers there. And then I also film right here at George Coffee and Provisions. That's where I had the most amazing gluten-free pumpkin muffin I've ever had in my life. And it, it couldn't have been good for me because it was, it was that good, right? It was one of those things where I said, hmm, can that really be gluten? But it was a very, very amazing. Most of the time, you know, gluten-free stuff is a little dry, but that was, uh, it was very, uh, very moist, you could say. But it was great. And so they've got some good some good eats there and some great coffee. I had it, my Americano. If you know me, you know I love my Americanos. And uh, so that was good. And then you also have, oh, Heart Aid Barbecue. I tell you what, when you move to Texas, you are going to love barbecue. And Heart Aid Barbecue is one of the best barbecue places here in Dallas. Really, really great. Uh, you've got another diner right there. You've got uh, a barber shop, like an old school barber shop. That's pretty cool, I saw that. You got a, a family practice in case you stub your toe, uh, <laughs> throwing the football around out in the field with, with the kiddos. But you know you got everything all right in here, up and down Main Street. You see you've got Tangerine Salon, Let It Shine, other little shops, some restaurants, and and a little bar here or there. So still there was still quite a bit of activity out there. Of course everyone's being safe, and uh, you've got the Capel Arts Center right here too. But a lot going on just right in this area. So it's, it's a lot of fun and a lot of stuff to do right there. Now you'll see as we zoom out a little bit, you're also close to the Capel Nature Park. And this is over 60 acres right here, right in the middle of town. And this is where you can, you can hike and bike and uh, just have a, you know, some picnics and really just enjoy some trails and have a lot of, it's, it's a great outdoor time there at the, the Capel Nature Park. So uh, again, over 60 acres. Also, just a couple of quick stats on Capel. It's just around 42,000 people. All right. So that's still kind of got that good, uh, that good small town feel with 42,000 people. So it's not, it's not a, a heavily trafficked. Um, you can still get around very easily. And you can see right in here is, is the main, the main area of the city where a lot of stuff is going on, okay? So if I zoom in here a little bit more, this is kind of the main hub. I don't wanna say newer, but I mean, this is where some of the newer buildings are compared to Old Town, uh, the Old Town Pavilion and that area where we just came from. But here you've got like Sprouts Farmer's Market. That's a great grocery store. I've got one by my house, love it. It's kind of a alternative to Whole Foods. So you can find some great local and organic produce there. So you got your Starbucks right here, you got uh, Anamia's Tex-Mex, uh, Chipotle, you've got a Zoe's, Natural Grocers, McDonald's, Schlotsky, Smashburger. So Taco, I mean, if you're looking for something, it's probably going to be right here in this intersection. And also after this video, when you go check out our vlog tour on, on Capel, I show you the first house, you know, it's around, uh, it was around 450,000. It's around this area. And it was, it was a three bedroom, three bath for about 3,000 square feet. And so uh, that was in this area. And then I take you to a 600,000 home, which was really kind of right in this area, uh, around, built around 2,000, newer construction, but really done well with all the nice updates. Uh, so this is, you know, you could find something for 600K in here, uh, 400K over here, 
and then and then I take you to this really beautiful street uh, or this neighborhood back in here where we get up to 900k and that house was awesome that was a five bedroom five bath 5,000 square foot home for 900,000 and that's where you're going to top out a lot here and actually the highest listed um, deal the highest listed property in Capel right now is at 1.1 million so it's not the most expensive home but it's the most expensive one listed right now so that's going to that should give you an idea and all of this in this in this huge square block you can see oops in that area you got 400 600 900 thousand so you've got a good mix uh, and look you've got the elementary school right here you got another elementary school right here of course if you're in this neighborhood that's where you could take the kids to school so literally uh, and then on top of that, actually, you've got Capel High School right up here. So if you found something in this neighborhood, you've got very, uh, you've got quick access to elementary school, to the high school, to Old Town, to the nature park, to the city center uh, right there. And you can see how, how Capel expands out over here. I mean, if you were to find something over here that you like, that's, it's not a problem because over here you got the River Chase Golf Club. You've also got another uh, major intersection over here with quite a bit of commercial on there. You've got uh, Valley Ranch down here. Valley Ranch was really cool back in the day because that's where a lot of the Dallas Cowboys uh, would live because the old Cowboy Stadium used to be in Irving and that's what you're boarding, bordering right here is Irving. So that you've got that, uh, you've got a Kroger up here. But look, also up here you've got Andrew Brown Community Park East and Community Park West and actually in that vlog I end up here at the park to show you this has over 14 miles of hiking and biking trails on it so you can kind of see uh, some of these trails and it kind of that trail connects the parks uh, unlike a, a road doesn't connect the park so if you want to get around running or biking you can do that and go from the west side of the park to the east side but you see all the water features and, and ponds there You've also got over a mile track that's that's uh, padded, kind of like the high school tracks or the college tracks that they actually run track on. So you've got a whole mile track there. So if you want to, each lap you do is a, is a mile. So if you want to run laps on that padded surface versus trail, you can do that. Uh, so that's really cool. So really, there's a lot going on here in Capel, and I was just thinking. I actually, I think I said. Um, in the intro, I might have said that it was the, the fourth best suburb, but actually Capel was ranked number two in all of Texas. So ranked number two is the best, um, one of the best suburbs to, to live in. It's number one in Dallas. So, uh, and that's because I said one, one big thing is, oh, that's supposed to be an eight. It's 86% safer than, mo than all cities in the state of Texas. On top of that, they have the number four, they have the number four public school system in in the state of Texas. That's what I meant to say. So they've got the number four uh, best school system in the state of Texas. That, so all those factors really play into making Compel one of the best suburbs in all of Dallas-Fort Worth and nobody ever talks about it. I mean you really just don't hear a lot about it and it's right there. It's 20 minutes to downtown, three minutes to the airport, five minutes to Grapevine Lake, I mean, if you want to come up to Louisville Lake, that's right above you. If you want to hit up to Frisco, it's probably about 20 minutes to Frisco. I mean, you've got everything you need right there in, in Capel, uh, right at your access. And, you know, going around the neighborhood, I, I mean, I, I really like Capel. It's, um, you know, it's, it's really, all the homes there, a lot of the homes are, are, are built well and, and very nice. So it's just got a, it's just got a good feel and, and you're very close to everything you need. And even if you want to go spend a weekend in Dallas or go downtown on the weekend, you're just not that far away. It's an easy trip. So what I wanted to also do was come over here and kind of show you a quick market report so you have an understanding of, of where Capel lies in the real estate market. You'll see here that uh, currently right now as we go into 2021, only 74 homes on the market. And that's a 24% decrease in the last 30 days. So that tells you that inventory is very limited in Capel. I mean, 74 homes on the market is not a lot out of 42,000 residents, right? And over 75% uh, of people own their home in Capel. So that's significantly low inventory. Uh, you'll see here, it's 42% it's drop of new homes to the market, all right? 
and the average days on market is only 71 days. That's pretty good. That's just over two months. Uh, and for an average, that is actually amazing. But here, there's been only been 12 reductions, price reductions in the last 30 days. So that tells you there are a couple of deals to be had, but uh, not a lot, right? So speed is our friend in this market. If you see something you like, you just kind of kind of make a move as quick as possible. And then the average price per square foot is around $166, which is extremely low, especially if you're coming from New York or California. I mean, $166 a square foot, that is, uh, that is very, very low. Uh, as I mentioned, let's see, yep, the most expensive home is right at $1.1 million. And let's just take a look at that one real quick. Why not? Let's see, let's see what it has to offer. Uh, oh, they're not going to let us... Oh, well, maybe that one's not listed anymore. So let's just take a look at another random. Let's let's look at this one, 569. Just so you kind of get an idea of what 569 will get you. That one go off the market? Wow. See, I told you, I told you speed is our friend. Um, <clears throat> speed is our friend when it comes to making an offer in this type of market. So, let, oh, I guess this one's still on the market. So this one was... 349,000, 1985, three bedroom, two bath, 1,835 square feet. I mean, that's a good size home. If, if you're looking just for a starter home or to get into something, then that's not bad, 349. Now let's let's just check out a couple of pictures. I mean, to me, it's not my, my, my choice of paint colors or brick color, but you know, you could paint all that. I mean, if you put a fresh cone of paint over the brick and, and painted uh, that woodwork, I mean, it's kind of like a mix of a traditional brick uh, slash Tudor on top, uh, which is not exactly my favorite style, but hey, you know, if you're just looking for something to get into, let's see here. So these wood floors and gray walls, again, not necessarily the color scheme that I would put together, uh, but it works. It looks like, you know, everything's going to be new in here. This looks like it was recently remodeled, uh, which is always nice. Again, okay, you know, looks like they put some granite in the in the kitchen. It's not it's not the highest quality granite. That's just kind of the standard. <clears throat> uh, they kept the old cabinets. You see that they just painted over the old cabinets. It still has popcorn ceilings. So that's something to keep an eye on. So, I mean, they, they did some updates in there, but they, they, they left a few things. I mean, I'm not a fan of track lighting myself, but again, these are just my opinions. If, if this was something you liked, well then, hey, I would say put an offer on it because it looks like everything you need is there. And as long as the house is you know sturdy and, and won't cause you a lot of problems, if they did the renovations right, then it shouldn't be a problem, right? You can always uh, do your own modifications and you know design it to your own taste so but otherwise I mean it looks like it's move-in ready and if you have new floors and some new paint and new countertops I mean that definitely helps out quite a bit saves you a lot of work so there you could move in but that gives you an idea of what 349 349 thousand would get you and then again go check out our other vlog tour also if you ever lived in Capel please comment below let us know some places that you like or things that you like about Capel. What did you find um, that you liked or didn't like? You know, even things that you don't like about Capel if you lived there before. But if you're thinking about moving, also comment below. Let us know when you're coming. And if we can help you out in any way, we would love to. You know, again, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, you know, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. So with that being said, let's uh, hope to see you around town. Bye for now.